is made and we're going to rejoice and be glad therein. Amen. 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 This is happening. They definitely have, a, have been a trying and a week. Amen. Amen. But sure amen. The word of God must still go on. That's right. Somebody text us and asked us, are we having church? Let me explain something to you. Regardless of what we go through, we still got to do God's will. That's right. That's right. Come on, somebody. When amen. you're a soldier, a soldier, soldier. has to go on in there. That's right. Come on, somebody. Amen. You, you, can't, you just can't fold up and, and close yourself off in the closet and no, Amen. Can't. Like God ain't there. Come on. Got a function. Come on. Amen. Yep. I, I remember a man of God told us, he said, When you don't know what to do, you'll know what to do. Amen. He said, You're supposed to be able to know what to do when you don't know what to do. Come on. Otherwise, right. God knows what to do. Yeah. Well, he knows what to do because he the one created us. Amen. That's right. Yes, we are human. Yes, we go through things. That's right. But at the same time, it is God that gives us strength to do anything. That's right. That's right. Somebody say amen. Amen. So we are, we are, let's go off into this uh, Apostolic Leadership Fivefold Ministry. Uh, I believe we're on page 10, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, page 10. Yes, ma'am. And another one, you know, another one too. I like is if you, when you don't know what to do, keep doing what you do know what to do. That's right. That's good. Thank That's you for right. that. Thank you for that. That is right. Keep mm -hmm. doing what you mm -hmm. do know what to do. Yeah. Amen. Right. So um, one thing about God, God knows everything. Yes, Amen. He, he knew when Peter was going to mess up. He knew when Peter was going to backslide. He yes, saw right. Peter backsliding because he knew that the trials and the stuff was going to go on in his life. He said, Peter, he said, I pray for you that, the, that your faith fell not. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And, and through troubles and tribulations, uh, it, it tests your faith. It tests your trust in God. Amen. Yes, Amen. All right. Let's go to this uh, uh, examples of how ministry gifts complete. Uh, uh, Compliment. Compliments. Amen. Amen. So we're looking at the number one evangelist. Uh, and apostles. So we're in book of Acts, Acts chapter 8. Acts chapter 8. We are going through these things, and the reason why I'm going through them very slowly and very um, um, like line up on line, precept on precept, because the purpose of it is is that we want to get the whole meaning out of everything that God has given us. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Uh, and so we want to make sure uh, that we get everything that God has given us. In Acts chapter 8. Um, let's go there, Acts chapter 8, uh, verse number, um, let's go up to the verse number 1, uh, Tatiana, and um, let's read that. Come on and read. Acts chapter 8, verse 1. And Saul was consenting unto his death. Uh -huh. And at that time, there was a great persecution uh -huh. against the church, uh -huh. which was at Jerusalem. Come on and read. And they were all scattered abroad uh -huh. throughout the regions of Judea. And Samaria, except the apostles. And devout men carried Stephen to his burial. Uh -huh. And made great lamentation over him. Come on and read. As for Saul, he made havoc of the church. Of the church. Come on and read. Entering into every house. Entering in every house. Inhaling men and women. Uh -huh. Committing them to prison. Committing them to prison. Come on and read. Therefore, they that were scattered abroad went everywhere, uh -huh. preaching the word. Preaching the word. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria. Come on and read. And preached Christ unto them. And preached Christ unto them, not denomination. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come on, not preaching to anything else but Jesus Christ. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. When you go to a church, and I'm just, I'm, I'm, listen to me. When you go to a church and God opened doors for you, amen, praise God, you're supposed to be, preach Christ. Yes. Not the church, not the denomination, not Amen. Praise God, man. You honor man. You appreciate God for man, but you don't. You don't go into dom denominational stuff. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. You're supposed to preach Christ. Somebody say preach Christ. Preach Christ. Amen. Amen. You don't go in there because you see something wrong and you feel that you need to say it. It ain't, it ain't your place to say it. Amen. You're supposed to preach Christ. Amen. Come on, say Amen. 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 You don't go in another man's house and rearrange his furniture. Right. Even in my house, you don't rearrange your, my furniture. That's right. Come on, somebody. That's right. Unless you're getting permission to rearrange the furniture. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Praise God. And the reason why I say that, the reason why, because we got ministers that God is raising up. 
And when you when doors are opening to you, you, you have to preach what you know. You have to teach what you know. Amen. Come on, somebody. And if you ain't living in certain areas, don't don't mess with that stuff. All right, now. Come on, somebody. That's it. If you don't respect leadership, don't preach on respect and leadership. Oh, wow. All right. Because <laughs> you're not a respect of leadership. Yeah, you're, a you're a hypocrite. You Somebody say amen. amen. And that's the reason why I got a, a paper that we went on, that we, that we go over. Amen. Praise God. Talking about, amen. Teach what you know. Amen. Teach what you're living. Amen. Don't teach nothing that you ain't living. Amen. Don't preach nothing that you ain't living. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. So uh, here it is. Amen. Praise God. Stephen is dead. And praise God. Paul is making havoc with the church. And God is dealing with Philip and all. And Philip is going to get ready to do some things. Amen. Because he was expert. They was all dispersed out of Jerusalem to go do some in the kingdom. Amen. Because sometimes people get stagnated and they will sit still. Uh -huh. And see, like I said, this church is a moving church. Amen. Yes, I need moving people. Come on, y'all. Y'all ain't sitting in here. I don't need church folks. Amen. I need I need disciples. Yes. Y'all ain't saying that here. Amen. I need disciples. Disciples that's willing to tra be trained and be taught. Amen. Praise God. And then be able to go out and do what God called them to do. Amen. Come on, somebody. Because church folks want to stay in the church. That's right. Yeah, that's true. Church folks want to quake in front of each other. Yeah. Church folks want to shine their light among each other. Yes. So God allowed, amen, the church not to get organized to where they are just set and, and, and complacent. Amen. I got, I got a juice back there, son, on the table back there. Um, I think, thank you. I think I put it back in the refrigerator. Sorry about that. I think I put it back in the refrigerator. I'm sorry about that. Thank you, sir. Um, praise the Lord. All right, let's go into this time. Come on, give me some more of that real quickly. Verse six, and the people with one accord gave heed unto those things. Which Philip spake, uh -huh. hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. Come on to read. For unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them. Listen, look at me for a moment, everyone. Philip was an evangelist. Mm -hmm. So, not just only the apostles can cast out devils and heal the sick. Amen. Amen. Evangelists can do the same thing. Amen. Come on, let's but see, every disciple is supposed to be doing what their Lord teaches them. Oh my God. That's right. When Jesus came up to tell him, when he went up to Mount Figuration, and praise God, the nine was at the bottom of the, the mountain. Amen. Peter, James, and John was up there on the mountain, seeing transfiguring. Jesus walking off the mountain, standing midair in the air. Praise God. Moses and Elias are talking to him. Praise God. He, uh, and, and Peter and James and John seeing all kinds of miracles and powerful and wonders right then. But the nine was at the bottom of the mountain. Amen. The man brought the, the demon possessed person, amen, his child up to him. Praise God. And said, I brought my disciples, I brought my son to your disciples, but your disciples cannot cast the devil out of them. Amen. And Jesus, when he came down, he told him, He said, Bring them to me. You he told he told him, You perverse generation. Amen. Where's your faith? Why you don't have no faith? Amen. See, they supposed to have been able to do the exact same thing that Jesus did. That's right. Amen. They supposed to have been able to do the same thing. Now you've been around me all this time, you can't do nothing I do. You can't cast out a devil. I gave you power over the devil. You see me cast out devils, and you around my church all this time. Amen. Come on, y'all. Amen. So otherwise, somewhere that other nine didn't get something. There was an impartation that he had missed. Amen. Or a classroom that they didn't go into. All right. All right. Come on. Oh, Come on. Y'all ain't saying that here. Because see, when you're a student. And you're a disciple, you're supposed to be up under the tutorage of your leader. That's right. And what your leader do, you can do. That's right. Jesus said, greater works that you do, and the Bible said, these works that you do, and what? Greater. So you're supposed to do exactly the same thing that your leader's supposed to be doing. Amen. That's right. And see, people go, but, and, 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 Lord Jesus, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. People talk about, well, I don't want to be up under uh, somebody that, 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 that try to rule me and reign and reign over me. No, you need an authoritative person over you. Come on, somebody. But not, to say, not as a manipulator. You need somebody that governs and, and help you govern yourself. Amen. Amen. Oh, y'all ain't Amen. saying that. Either. Amen. Come on, talk back to me, y'all. Because if you don't have a governor, if you don't have somebody. See, that's what the apostles are. The apostles are the governors. That's because if you ain't got nobody being a governor, that means everybody's going to be loose. That's true. 
That's true. You know and then we'd be like TD Jakes, woman, thou art loose. <laughs> then we have, come on, we have too many loose folks in the house of God with no government. Come on now. Oh Lord Jesus. Okay. All right. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Give me some more. Read. read it, daughter. Come on. For unclean spirits, crying with loud voice, came out of many that were possessed with them. Many, many were possessed with them. And many taken with palsies. Palsies. Come on. And that were lame. That were lame. Were healed. Were healed. And there was great joy in that city. Come on and read. But there was a certain man. There was a certain man. Come on. Called Simon. Uh huh. Which before time, in the same city, used sorcery. And bewitched the people of Samaria. Come on and read. Giving out that himself was some great one. Some great one. Come on and read. To whom they all gave heed. To they all gave heed. From the least to the greatest. Uh huh. Saying, This man is the great power of God. Uh huh. And to him they had regard. Come on and read. Because that of long time he had bewitched them. He had bewitched the whole church, the whole people around there. Yeah, with, yeah, sorcery. Yeah. with sorcery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. But when they believed Thank Philip, you. Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God. The things that were, oh my God. He didn't preach doctrines. No. He preached the doctrine of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Amen. things that concerned the kingdom of God. Amen. Y'all hear me? Yes, Amen. Come on and read. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. They were baptized. They was baptized. Hallelujah. So you have the same gifting to be able to do certain things. Amen. Amen. Y'all hear me? Yes. Sir. But you don't you don't do no more than what you can do. That's All right. right. Amen. Don't go above and don't go beneath. All right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Amen. Watch this. Come on and read. Both men and women. Uh huh. Then Simon himself believed also. He believed also. Come on and read. When he was baptized, he continued with Philip. Come on. And wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Uh huh. Now when the apostles were at Jerusalem. Heard that Samaria had received the word of had God. Had received the gospel. Come on. They sent unto them Peter and John. Well, see, look at this. Listen to this. Look, look, at how the, look at how everything is being stepped in. And it's going into right order. Y'all hear me? That's right. he, he got them saved. That's right. He got them receiving the gospel. Yeah. He got them baptized. That's right. But he couldn't give them the Holy Ghost. That's right. Only God can. <laughs> Watch this. But see, it was, it was, a, dip, it was a dip. It was a different step. Mother, Minister Sheila, it was a different step because the apostles had to come down there and lay hands upon them. All right. Watch this, watch, watch what it's going to show us. Come on and read. Come on and read. Who, when they prayed, came down, come down, prayed for them, and they received the Holy Ghost. They received the Holy Ghost. So why, why they couldn't receive the Holy Ghost when Philip was not there? But everything was in order. See, it was in order the way the man of God went out and got the, got the evangelist, amen, is to get folks stirred up, get them saved, get them to get, receive the word of God. So when the man of God or the, the apostles would come, praise God, that's, that was in their time, praise God. But right now, we don't have to go do that because the Holy Ghost would fall on people right now because at that time, amen, Jesus, oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, my God. <coughs> oh, my God. Yes. Apostle. Yes, sir. You are not saying that Peter, I mean uh, Philip, didn't have the Holy Ghost, are you? Come on, no sir, no sir, no sir. No, no, I'm not saying he didn't have the Holy Ghost. He had the Holy Ghost. Okay. But he could, but there were steps the way God had it set up. There we go. If you look at it, amen, praise God. Why did not, why, why got it in here? Like, amen, praise God. He went down there and prayed for them. They got baptized and then they got, they received the Holy Ghost. I mean, they received the Spirit of God. They received the Word of God, but he called for the elders. He called for the apostles. And the Bible says when they prayed upon them, yeah, right. ain't this in your Bible? Right. Why did not God? Y'all ain't saying that yet. The order. Yeah, Thank you. Know. It was the order of God. Right. You don't right. always get the Holy Ghost right when you Right pray. then. That's right. Yeah. See, see, some pray. evangelists, some evangelists, we can get folks saved and receive the word because right. evangelists, that's what they are. They get people to hear the word of God. Yeah. We stare them up and get them rejuvenated and get them hyper for the kingdom of God. Under the my God, my God, my God, that's right. Come on, come on to read, daughter. Come on, read some more of that real quick. For as yet he was fallen upon none of What number you on? What number you on? Verse 16. Verse number 16. Go back up to the, um, uh, go back to 14. Read it again. Now when the apostles which were at Jerusalem. Which was in Jerusalem. That heard Samaria. That heard, what? Samaritan. Yeah. Had received the word of God. Had received the word of God. Watch this. Read. They sent unto them Peter and who? John? Yeah. John. Come on. Who, 
when they were come down, uh -huh. prayed for them. Prayed for them. Now, did Peter, I mean, did, did Philip not pray for them already? Yes. He yeah. yeah. He, he prayed for them. Yeah. He laid hands up on them yeah. and baptized them. Right. But they were still missing a, 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 a one ingredient. Yeah. He called for Peter and John to come down. Right. Watch this read. That they might receive the Holy Ghost. That they might receive the Holy Ghost. Now, see, in our time, the Holy Ghost is, is, is ready for us. And if you get folks saved, if you get people to repent for their sins, right. if they really want the Holy Ghost, right. but see, see, the Holy Ghost, let me explain something to you people. Look at me for a moment. See, the Holy Ghost is here. Y'all yes. hear me? Because yes, we can't ask God to send down the Holy Ghost. God sent no Holy Ghost. No, the Holy Ghost is here. Right. The Holy Ghost is waiting on somebody to receive him. That's right. Yes. See, see, thank you, man. It's a gift. See, the Holy Ghost is it's right here. If the Holy Ghost was in heaven, we'll be in a mess on earth. Because what's holding the church, I mean the world together right now, is the Holy Ghost. Because right. Yeah. Right. without the Holy Ghost, God take the Holy Ghost out of the world, the whole world will be in chaos. Y'all right. ain't saying nothing to me. Right. Look at this chaos that's going on now. Right. Look at all these killings that's going on right now. Yes. With, with the Holy Ghost here, y'all ain't saying nothing yes. here. If God take the Holy Ghost up out of the world right now, we'll be in chaos. Yes. My God, yes sir. Yes. See, we have to understand what God is saying. The Holy Ghost is not far from us. I'm going to get you. The Holy Ghost is not far from us. Why, why is we tearing for the Holy Ghost? The Holy Ghost just wants you to say, yes, Lord. I'm giving up me. I'm giving up my sins. I'm giving up what I want to do. Yeah, yeah because all of us want to do what we want to do. That's right. Because we're still in control of our own life. <laughs> yes, sir. Real quickly, come on. You just open up what I wanted to ask and went in a different direction, real quick. You know, I met, I met this lady who was part real quickly. Of, I met this lady and she she was part of the uh the what's that called when they they, they grab people and all that with the with the women they grab it. Oh, huh? You know what I'm talking about? When they grabbing the women and putting them in and, and taking them and, and selling them and all that stuff? Uh, she, oh, she, she, was, she was part of slave oh, trade. Slave okay, slave trafficking. And she ended up having kids in that and all that. Anyway, one of the children, you know, she got she came out of it. One of the children are uh, kind of messed up, right? So I called the man of God. I was talking to her. I called a man of God who I know works with kids and he's a teacher, so and so and so. And his words to me was, because what caught my attention when it said, uh, when they, they called John and James, uh -huh. uh, when they called, uh, I'm sorry, Peter and John, right. they came to Samaria. Uh -huh. You know, they didn't say, this person's very words was, you know, I don't want this person wasting my time. That's not what I'm doing this year. That's how I'm operating this year. Yeah. I don't need my time wasted. And, I'm like, and then, oh, what if people back there would have been like, you know, I heard about Samaria. But I ain't going. Yeah, I don't need to waste my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they would have never received the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you for that. Come on, give God a praise offering. Amen. Hallelujah. Hope that Amen. makes sense. Okay. Amen. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Talk to you. Give me some more of that real quickly, and then we'll uh, be through with this. Come on. And take this far. Sorry. That's okay. For as yet he was fallen upon none of them. And yet he was not fallen upon none of them. Only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? They was only baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Come on and read. Then they laid their hands on them. Uh-huh. And they received the Holy Ghost. See, th see, that's the reason why you have to make sure that the right people are laying the right hands on you. That's right. Because yeah. everybody's hands ain't the right hands. That's right. Come on. You that's right about that? Come on. Friends, friends, friends. Come on. You, you better be careful. Yeah. And see, that's the reason why. And I, I, I'm going to throw this out there for good measure because I said it before. Are y'all paying attention to me? Yes, sir. Now and that's really why. See, like when we, when I, when I'm, when I'm in, when we're in training, yes. and when we go other places, I'm saying this again, yes. and I don't want to be redundant. Praise God! I want y'all to understand what I'm saying. Is that praise God? When we go other places, y'all supposed to be whole. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. Y'all right. right. supposed to be healed. Right. Right. That's right. Even in here. Even in here. But I'm talking about, Amen. Praise God. When we go other places, especially. And I'm up there, I'm up there. We, me and my wife up there praying for other people. Oh, yeah. Casting out devils out of other people. And you got the devil in you. Praise God, you got to get healed. Yeah. That's right. Amen. We trying to get, we, you ain't over there for you. We ain't over there to get you delivered. Right. We over there to bring deliverance to them. Yes. In the name yes. of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Amen. That's Stay. right. You up there won't, won't pray. This, this service ain't for you. Come on. That's right. That's good. Yes, God. That's Come on, good. somebody told that to me, y'all. That's right. Yes. God. Leaders supposed to have themselves together. That's right. You're supposed to be ready to minister to other people. That's right. That's the reason why we bring you here to take you up. Yes. Give 
to do that unleaded, that super unleaded, and give you what you need so when we go out, we can pour out what God has given us in through these classes. Come on. Come on. We shouldn't be, amen, praise God, home break. I'm going to be prayer too. You didn't pray for me. No. That ain't for you. That service wasn't for you. That's right. Oh, that's good. Come on, somebody. Because okay. we gotta we gotta get into that place. Amen. Praise God. That we're walking in deliverance, and we, especially you are up in the deliverance church. Yes. Okay. You are in a deliverance church. Right. And see, you're supposed to be you supposed to be surrendering everything over to God. Right. You're supposed to be. Because yes. I know that I know that me and my wife and, and what we are preaching in, and some of y'all that is teaching it, and so some of this stuff, amen. Some of this stuff we just holding on to because we don't want to give it up. No. That's right. right. That's right. right. That's what it is. Because right. I know it's a lot of rocks being unturned. Yeah. yeah. But see, it's it's a it's a problem when you got a problem with the, the mouth that's speaking to you. Yeah. yeah. That's speaking. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. That's right. And so so what happens? You can even oh Lord Jesus. Oh God. Yeah, Did you have something you want to say? Yeah. That was, that's one of the things that they were talking about in the um, at an also workers boot camp. When you go out, you're going out to work, not to be worked on. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. That's good. See, and so we have to understand, praise God, that God wants to fix us in the house. And that, that we are not broken when we go out the house. Y'all hear me? All broken pieces are supposed to be fixed in some kind of area. Come on, somebody. Go to a conference and you all tore up. What's wrong with you? Why, 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 are, you going, why are you going through yeah. You're supposed to be there to be ministered and being ministered to, to other people. Yeah. Amen. We could have done this Come on, we should have got that out the way. Yeah. That's right. Now you come in, you can't be a help. Yeah. I'm talking to everybody, y'all. Amen. I'm talking to those that might view this on, on YouTube. Because when you are a leader and you are walking in leadership, praise God, your life's supposed to be surrendered over to God. And you're supposed to uncover everything that's in your heart. God, uh, God, I got a problem with my dad. I got a problem with my mom. I got a problem with my husband. You're supposed to get all that stuff up under the blood. Uh -huh. Amen. You got anger in you, you got to get rid of that stuff. Amen. Because then you won't be a, 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 a perfected minister to minister to nobody. Amen. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you, sir. You could go to another person's church and get beat up by that demon. Come on. Did you have something else you need to say real quickly? I'll, I'll okay, thank you. All right, come on. Let's, let's go give some more talk to you real quick. We, we are, we're, we're through with that. Verse number 15, read it again. Who, when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. That they might receive the Holy Ghost. For as yet he was fallen upon none of them. Come on, read. Only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh huh. Then laid they their hands on them, and they received the Holy Ghost. And they received the Holy Ghost. Come on, and read. Read that. We'll go on, go on. Read it. And when Simon saw that through laying on of, on of the apostles' hands the Holy Ghost was given, uh -huh. he offered them money. He offered them money, so he thinking he could buy the Holy Ghost, mm. so he can do the same thing that they had yeah. done. Come on, somebody. Amen. And see, he was going about it the wrong way. Yeah. Because that witchery and what he was doing, he wanted it so he could misuse folks. Wow. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear what I said? Amen. Come on and read. Saying, give me also this power. Uh-huh. Good that, morning. That on whomsoever I lay hands, uh -huh. he may receive the Holy Ghost. See, his heart wasn't even right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. He offered them money. That's and right. He didn't want to sit in their school. That's right. He didn't want to submit to them. But he wanted, he wanted to offer them some money so he could do the right. same thing. That's right. And see, you got a lot of people don't want to come to class, but they want to do the same thing. That's right. Y'all ain't saying that. That's right. Yes, sir. Let me drop this on you. I, I told somebody the other day, like I said, there was a lot going on this weekend. A lot of, lot of stuff that some of y'all don't know. And some of y'all do know. But I told the apostle, I called the man of God on last night. I said, let me tell you something. I said, all the people that comes over to that church and sit in there, because right now the shepherd is gone. I said, the shepherd is gone. Right. And I said, now all them, them, them harlans, right. the wolves right. coming in sheep clothing, yes, sir. Yes, sir. acting like they really love the ministry. Yes, but they got a heart, they got something in store that they really want. They want that building. And so everybody is flocking to it. Y'all ain't saying that yet. Right, right. 
I said, when you get up to preach, man of God, and I told him, I said, you need to run out all those that were not there when he was there. Come on. That's right. That's real good. That's good. That's right. That's real good. I said, you need to run out every person that comes over there that wasn't there when that man of, that man of God was alive. That's right. All right. You didn't join the church when he was alive. Yeah. What you going to join the church now for? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Come on. That's real good. Right. Now you don't visit my church and you never came around me when I was alive? Y'all ain't saying nothing. See, y'all an apostle. I don't. I don't have to. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. See, because what's going on? See, when you when you when you become a leader, you your heart is for the souls of the people. That's right. See, your heart is for the souls of the people. Y'all hear me? Amen. So everybody now is flocking, coming up, showing up, going over there. What you going over there for? What's your purpose for? Yep. See, you got a purpose. And it's devilish. That's right. That's right. That's the agenda. That's the, that's the agenda. You think you'll get in that pulpit and take that church over? Yes. Yes. See, I shut it down. See, I, I would shut it down. I ain't scared of none of them. Y'all ain't seen any. Come on, see. And see, they know that the, the, the church is paying off. Right. And they think that if they get that platform, they'll have them a paid off church. Yeah. And some of these lazy preachers, they lazy pastors, they don't want to go out. They call themselves pastors, but they don't want to go out there and work on their own salvation. Oh, right. oh, Build your own church out of your house. Y'all yeah, right. yeah. ain't saying that's that here. Right. I can say it on Facebook, I can say it in front of anybody. Yeah, right. I ain't saying it just in my pulpit. Right. Y'all ain't saying that here. If you call yourself a pastor, get your church. Go in your, your, your house. Start your church in your house. Go through yeah, what everybody else went through. That's that's right. that's how they Why y'all ain't saying that? Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Yes, ma'am. Some yes. of them might have their eye on her as well. Thinking that, you know, she's vulnerable. And, they yep. that's, and that's the truth. Yeah. And that's the truth. And, I, I mean, and, and it, like I said, that's my heart. My heart goes out for the, not just only for her, but the flock. Yeah. The people. Yes. yes. You hear me? Yes. And so we need to really be in prayer. You hear me? Because when when men of God is, is taken off the scene, the devil comes in very quick. Yes, yes. Y'all hear me? Very quick. See, I know if, if anything happened to me, I know my wife gonna handle it. Oh, yeah. Because <clears throat> I got a strong real wife. And I got a wife that's helping me in the ministry. Right. Y'all hear what I'm saying? That's the key. That's the key thing. Yeah. See, helping me in the ministry. I know for Mr. Freedom is going to be okay. Y'all hear what I just said? Yes. Yes. See, and I got some people that's that's here that that that, that love us, Amen, and, and pray that you will continue on if God would take one of us. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Amen. God forbid, because I, I asked God for another 150 years. <laughs> 100, 150. I got a number on I put a number on it. You hear me? I didn't say no 100. I didn't say no 50. I said 150. I want to I wanna be here to bury you. You ain't saying nothing here. <laughs> bury your children. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. And still be getting around, Brother Ray. Amen. Praise God. But out of came. Without a walker. Somebody say amen. Come on, God is going to give. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Moses, the Bible says Moses was 120 years old and the eyes never went dim. He didn't wear glasses like what I'm wearing right now. God renew our youth like an eagle. We need some eagle. We need some renewing like an eagle. I was up and y'all ain't saying nothing here. Thank you, Jesus. I was up there and see, let me tell you, Lord oh, Jesus. I'm, 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 hold on tight. I was up in a funeral home, and right. brother, brother, brother Wade, right. in there looking at the man of God and praying and just, you know, visit with everybody, and then a pain hit me. I said, I bind you, devil. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that devil started speaking, see, something happened to you. I said, devil, you a lying wonder. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I mean, that pain, as soon as I can just hit my back and all that, I said, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Yes, it might be some spirits open here, but I ain't going to receive it. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. 
See, some of us are so open. Our minds are so open. And we, y'all ain't said that. And spirits will talk to us. If you ain't strong enough, you don't. Yeah. You know, as soon as you walk out, and if you ain't got no strength, and you ain't got no power to rebuke that devil, and you start saying, Oh, yeah, that, I got a pain right here. Oh, Lord, something wrong with me. Oh, God, something hit me. Oh, right then, there. that's when the devil got you. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. That's when the devil got you. So that's the reason why you got to make sure your mindset, you putting on the whole armor of God. Y'all hear me? Because the devil's out here for keeps, y'all. Y'all hear me? That was out here for keeps you real quick. Yes, ma'am. Um, I just want to say, what you just said, I just experienced that same thing yesterday. Because I got all these scratches and bruises on my legs. So the first thing that the enemy tried to bring to me was that I had lupus. Uh-huh. And so I was thinking about it this morning because I had to rebuke that spirit because that's something that runs in my family. And once I rebuked it, it changed my mindset. I was able to go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. You yeah. see, you have to be able to. When things hit you, when things come up on you, when things hit your mind, you have to rebuke it real quickly. Because right. if you don't rebuke it real quickly, that thing will stay inside your mind. Right. Y'all hear me? And then you'll be meditating on it. And then the Bible says, the Bible says, cast down every imag- evil imagination that exalts itself against the word of God. Leaders have to do that. You have to talk to yourself. You have to talk to your mind. You have to talk to your body. Y'all, y'all ain't saying nothing here. Get him, y'all. Get him. Somebody say amen. You have to you have to understand. You have to talk to your body. Listen to me, saints of God. Let me explain something to you. Look at me for a moment. Look at me for a moment. Let me tell you something. You are a God, little children. God, God is inside of you. God have created man different from He created him in the animals. You are a God being. Don't you might be a woman or a man. The Bible says he breathed into the man the breath of God, which is the life of God, which was God himself. Y'all hear what I'm saying? So God created you. He gave you power over sickness. He gave you power over diseases. He gave you power over your own mind. That, y'all, y'all better leave me alone. Y'all better leave me alone today. Y'all better leave me alone today. You you have, you have to speak to your mind. Your mind running around. You got to be. You got to put that mind out of the subjection. You got to talk to them thoughts. You got to talk to your body. You got to talk to yourself. You are God's being. You are God's child. Yes, Hallelujah. You don't lay your hands. You holy. Yes, yes, yes. Lay your hands on your. Oh, I got a headache. Oh, come on. oh, I got a backache. Come on, so you laying holy hands on the holy body, and you 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 announcing what you have. Come on, come on. Yes. Bible says you have life and death in the power of your own.